I would like to welcome Meg Sachs to the show along with her kids, Beck and Flora Grace. And this segment is about going extra and spreading that holiday cheer. And this is interesting because you write for Jacksonville Mom. I do. But the holidays really aren't your thing until this year. Right. And you kind of <laughs> went from the Grinch to Clark Griswold or the elf. Right, the elf. And I, last year I wrote another blog post and I was like, Christmas is just not my holiday. We'll go to church, we'll do that. But all the extra, not me. And this year I was like, nope, the day after Halloween, we're doing Christmas because and we need that. <laughs> what is the call to action? Was it because of the pandemic and kind of being stuck at home? Um, a lot of it was being stuck at home. It was not seeing our family. And it was also just trying to keep Christmas spirit alive when we have to do everything so differently this year. And so a lot of outdoor events, a lot of being really intentional, uh, intentional about what we're gonna do. And walk me through to the blog post that you did there really is so much that Jacksonville has to offer. So where do you want to start? Well, we did the fireworks, right? We went to the boat parade. What was your favorite part about the fireworks? You have to say it louder. <laughs> grand finale. The grand finale. So they love the fireworks downtown. Um, we're going to go do the gingerbread extravaganza at the Jacksonville Historical Society. And that's different this year because you have to buy tickets ahead of time. And, We've never had to do that before. But. That's what I was going to say, too. I feel like this year there's a lot of things that are different. Even the Knights of Lights in St. Augustine, mm -hmm. it's more of a will call situation where you don't just wait in line in masses. You kind of secure your tickets. But I would imagine a lot of things have changed that way. And Jacksonville Mom, they've done a great job with a ton of ideas, but also how to navigate it through the holidays. Right. And I think so we have a kindness calendar for kids that you can do. So that's those are some activities. We have um, all kinds of events that you can go to. So you just have to, I think there's a little more planning that has to go into this year. You might have to make reservations where you didn't do that before. You might have to sign up online for something that normally you would just show up for. Um, and there's a big list of things on, on the Jacksonville Mom site that you can do. And one thing that's unique about your household, interfaith. So you're yes. celebrating several holidays in this month. Right, so tonight is the first night of Hanukkah um, that we celebrate with my husband's family. And so we will be making latkes because everyone loves fried potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> in any form. In any form. Yes. And we do the dreidel. Hey guys, come here, do you wanna show them? Show the dreidel? And we do, so this is, this is actually a good thing to do just for math skills. Come here. So you spin the dreidel and each symbol on the dreidel means a different thing. It means you take half, you take all, or you take none. And so that's a good counting activity. You know, even if you don't celebrate the ho holiday, you can still work on counting with your kids. And then they like to eat the chocolate, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then with the kindness calendar, you mentioned that before. I'll tell you, that's a great idea for kids to get involved and really get in touch with the community and help out. There's so many great things and I remember uh, when Jessica was on with that, mm -hmm. they actually made it even bigger this year. Right, they did. And I think, you know, there's so many more families that need that need help this year. So there's a lot more we can we can do to help the community. And getting your kids involved at an early age just sets the tone for the rest of their life. So. And I mentioned before, Jacksonville Mom, a great resource. Everything's listed there. But one of the things that you made a great point of saying is plan ahead. This year is totally different than the years past when you didn't participate in the holidays. Right. <laughs> so you're learning on the fly. I am learning on the fly. But um, Jacksonville Mom has been a great resource for looking up things to do and just trying to get ahead of everything. You know, there are five days from when Duval County gets out of school until Christmas. That's five days where we would normally go away or see family and we can't do that this year. So I need to figure out what to do with them. <laughs> yeah, and we just learned at the top of the show, Mosh is having $1 for kids, I believe between three and 12. So that's pretty oh, nice perfect. to get them out of the house. So look, it's just one big family here on River City Live helping each other that's out. Great. So thanks again for all your time and information. Thank you. Great job, guys. Happy holidays to you. To learn more, you go to jacksvillemom.com. And right now, we're gonna send it to break. Stick around, more to come right after this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looking for fresh, informative health news?